Hey guys, and we're back with another tutorial on how to download Star Wars Battlefront 2 Beta Version 1.1 with uh, the 1.3 unofficial patch and Dark Times 2. So, what you want to do is you need first to down to uninstall or delete the Star Wars Battlefront 2 you currently have right now. If you don't have one, then you're fine. If you have one, you need to delete it or maybe move it somewhere away from your C program. Okay? Maybe on a USB anywhere you need to. Once that's done, you're gonna need uh, you're gonna need to download uTorrent. The file that you're downloading is a torrent, so to open it up, you're gonna need uTorrent. So this is the page. I'll put the link in the description below. What you wanna do is we open up the page. You wanna scroll down all the way to uTorrent Beta. If you already have uTorrent, this step is not necessary. So you wanna download now, and you wanna hit wherever to download, run it, save it, whatever. But you just want to make sure you know where it is and to run it when you want to. Once that is done, you're going to, need to open up this link. It is in the description below, steamcommunity.com. And you're going, to, you're going to have to, this is where you download the actual ultimate pack. So it's the ultimate pack 4.01, 4.0.1. So you want to scroll down all the way to download. The installer size is 5.88 gigabytes, but the actual size that's going to be needed is 25. But actually, when I did it, I needed 26, so it's going to have to be rounded up. You want to open up the torrent file link. Link, open a new tab. I already have it open over here. This is the file you need, the Star Wars Battlefront 2.torrent. So you want to hit download. And if you want, you can make an account. You don't have to. If you don't want to, you go down here. No thanks. Continue to download. Boom, hit that. They'll pop up. You want to save as. And you want to save it to desktop. Save. Once that is done, it should be done very fast because it's not a very big file size. You go to your desktop and you want to open up uTorrent.exe. Once you have that open, this nothing nothing will be here. It'll be all blank. You want to go. You want to go file add torrent. You want to go to desktop wherever you saved this Star Wars Battlefront for two torrent, and you want to open it up in there. I already have it open, so this bar will pop up. None of this will be here. Just this bar will be here. You want this this thing will be available to click. You click Star Torrent, and it should take you around one hour and a half, two hours. That's how fast it should be. Or not fast, I should say slow. Once that is done, all of these links will appear down here. Not links. All of these will appear. So you want to go to the very bottom. You want to select them all. Now you can either, you can click, you right click, and you can either relocate. You can relocate wherever you want, make a folder, put it in there. Or you can open containing folder, which will open it up inside a folder. You want to make sure you know where that folder is, just in case you have to go back to it and do something else. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. This is what it should look like. Three dot wave programs, some exe, some bin dot bin. So pretty much this is what you this is what you're looking for. So if you got all the way to here and you did it correctly, then what you want to do is you want to go and open up setup dot exe. Not install, not auto run. You want to open up setup. You want to double click and open that one up. This is what should pop up. The installation notes and and pretty much the setup to install it. You want to hit next, you want to hit next. There's two options here, Steam or Standard. I kept it on Standard, and you want to hit next. Now this, when I tried to put it in here, it couldn't be found. It said this 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 program, this program program destination cannot be found, this file destination, whatever. If that's the case for you, all you want, all you need to do is go to Browse, scroll up, Windows C, boom, okay. So the path should be C, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Okay, and it says here you need at least 25, but in reality you need 26 gigabytes. Watch, you hit next. I already have it on there, so the space is already full. And it says the setup requires 26, 26 million kilobytes. That's relevant to 26 gigabytes. So if you have enough space, this should not pop up. If it has enough space, once you click next, the installation will start automatically. It should take around 20 to 30 minutes, maybe 40. So if you don't have enough space, you need to clear it all up, then hit, come back and hit next. Then the, you know you did it correctly when it starts up automatically. So after all that is done, you want to open up the folder where it is. So like I said, mine is on C, Windows C, and it's right here, Star Wars Battlefront 2. You want to open up that one, and this is what you'll have. So in the normal Star Wars Battlefront 2, you would have to go to game data and this would this would, would this is what you would open up with but not with this version with this version you'd go back to the main page 
and you'd want to click launch BFF2. Once you've done that, you launch it and boom, you get the game. So you so for example here you put in this, you launch it, and this is what you'll this is what will appear. You can either customize it, you can make it enable global modes, enable custom modes, anything you want. And all you have to do is you, you can go to options, enter CD keys, settings, uninstall, whatever. But then all you have to do is you click start game and boom, that's it, you're done. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it worked. If it worked, leave a comment and like, and leave a subscription in the box. And yeah, so thanks for watching this tutorial and see you next time.